So this mobility sequence is shot as a follow along. So I'm gonna demonstrate each one of the movements. I'm gonna go through, do all the reps, and all you need to do is uh, follow, watch, and listen. So I want you to think a little bit in terms of the fascial system, as far as one of the huge benefits that we're getting out of this that not a lot of people think about or talk about. Um, and I don't mean uh, the muscle stuff, myofascia, the, this, this matrix that all of our stuff is suspended in throughout the body. And it's constantly remodeling just like everything else. The trick is it's gonna remodel according to your habitual postures, positions, and any kind of stress you apply to the body. So if we find ourselves in seated positions, rounded over quite a bit all throughout the day, the fascial system is gonna remodel that way and we're gonna get stuck when it comes to multiplanar movement. So going through a sequence like we're about to do a couple of times a week, now we're gently moving the body through a full array of movement patterns and that remodeling process, it's gonna remodel the more the way it's designed versus some of these poor habitual patterns that we like to get into. So we're gonna start in child's pose. So on all fours, and then we're just shifting the hips back. Now, if you have any knee issues, you may wanna take a towel or something, put it behind your knee, and just to prevent the full fold of the joint. So the knees are a little bit wider, feet are together. I'm gonna to come back into a child's pose. And then first, I'm just gonna rock side to side. And I'm just gonna do this five or 10 seconds, just loosen up the low back a little bit. And now we're gonna go into three cat cows. So your tabletop position. And what we wanna do is when we go into the cat, absolutely, let's round everything going all the way up. But as we come down and transition to the cow, I don't want you to dump all of this through your lower back. So once your pelvis is neutral, low back is neutral, just think you don't want your belly button pushing down to the floor. Then we're gonna work on pushing down through the chest. So any tension you feel should be between the shoulder blades, not at your low back. All right, number two, into our cat, nice and high. And then nice and easy, holding my low back neutral, driving through the chest. And one more time, up nice and high for the cat. And then we're gonna go down, stop the lower body, don't drive the low back, and drive through the chest. All right, now go ahead and just gently sit back into your child's pose again, give you a different view. So from here, we're gonna take your right hand, reach as far forward as possible, and then create as big an arc as you can going across and then we're going to come back and now left hand forward as far as you can over and across back to the right hand we're going to do three each side so reach 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 really go across the body reach 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 across the body all right last time I'm going forward with my right hand and reaching across the body you should feel the entire sideline of your body with this and then last time on the left side up and across, and good. All right, come out of that. Next, we're gonna go into the three position side rotation. So position one is going to be about 45 degrees below hip height. So if I'm at 90 here, 90 degree angle at the hip, I'm gonna go down to 45. My bottom hand, so I'm gonna talk lefts and rights. I'm lying on my left side, my left hand is on my right knee, I'm gonna put my right hand on the back of my head and I'm trying to rotate my right shoulder blade down to the floor without letting my legs move. So in a perfect world, we're gonna get the shoulder blade and the elbow touching the floor and we're gonna go two more times. So rotate back, right shoulder blade, right elbow to the floor. One more, right shoulder blade, right elbow to the floor. And then back to neutral. Now we're gonna bring your knees up so you have 90 degrees at your hip. Grab onto that leg again with the left hand, right hand on the back of your head, and same thing, three times. Shoulder blade to the floor, elbow to the floor, or at least directionally towards it. So what we're doing by moving the leg position up, we're changing the emphasis on the spine as far as what we're stretching out or moving around. The low position is the low back. Now we're moving up some. All right, one more time, so your third rep. And then for the upper thoracic spine, we are going to hook the leg. So bring the top leg up, hook it with the bottom arm. So I have a 90 degree bend at my elbow and my leg is in my wrist or hand. So I want my knee the same height as my hip, right hand on the back of my head. And again, I'm trying to rotate and get my right shoulder blade to the floor, right elbow, then rotating back two more times. 
So now this should all be in the thoracic spine or the upper spine. And then we're gonna do all that on the other side. So I'll give you the back side view now. So we're 45 degrees below 90. So I'm on my right side. Right hand is grabbing the top of my left leg. Left hand is on the back of my head. And now I'm trying to get my left shoulder blade and left elbow on the floor. Rotate back, we're gonna go two more times. Left shoulder blade, left elbow on the floor. And then come back. And one more time. Now let's bring the knees up so we are 90 degrees at the hip. I still have my right hand on top of my left leg so my legs don't go anywhere. Left hand on the back of your head. And rotate that left shoulder blade towards the floor. Try to get your left elbow there. Two and one more. Left shoulder blade towards the floor, left elbow. And rotate out of that. Now you're gonna do is simply go on your back. And if this is easy for you, it simply means you don't really need it. So we're gonna do arm slides or arm angels, a variety of names for this. So what I want you to do is try to get your arms flat on the floor. If you're tight, they're not gonna to go to the floor, but we at least wanna maintain a parallel position with your arm. So we don't want the hand higher than the elbow. If anything, we're trying to get the hand lower than the elbow. From here, all you're gonna do is slide your arms up overhead kind of like somebody signaling a field goal, and then right back down. So we're gonna do this five times. As you go up with your arms, you can give a nice exhale, then come back down. Remember, we're keeping the hand either at least the same height as the elbow or lower, so let's go two more. Slide the arms up, and then back down, and one more, and back down. All right, two more to go. So let's bring you up to your feet. So what we want to do is find some version of kind of a split, standing splits. Uh, don't go to your end range. So just find something where you would have a little more room to go, but we still want to challenge this some. So we're going to do kind of a modified triangle. We're really just going to shift side to side doing a side lunge. So side lunge, come back up, and the other way. So just a stationary side lunge. So remember with your side lunge, it's important to get your hips behind your ankle. What we don't want to do is drive it all through the knee. We need to get hips back, then shift in. Hips back, then shift. So let's go three times each way. So I'm gonna start going to my right. So right, back up to the top, left, back up to the top, right, back up to the top. You should feel the inner thighs getting stretched out. Left back up, and then one more time right, and one more time left. All right, home stretch. So this is where you're gonna put your foot on something like your couch, um, a chair, something that is not gonna slide out from under you. So I'm gonna position my foot here, make sure my belly button is straight ahead the whole time. So my belly button is pointing to my left foot, my left foot is on the couch. Both hands are gonna go in the back of my head. I'm gonna get nice and tall, and then all I'm gonna do is shift forward into my left leg, keeping my right knee straight, and then push right back out of it. Two more times. Shift in, come back out of it, and one more time. Shift in, and come out of it. And swap sides. So now I'm gonna go right foot on my couch, belly button pointing to my right foot, my left foot is square. Really focus on keeping your left knee straight, and then we're gonna bend into the right knee, back out, so where you should feel this is the front side of your left hip, maybe a little into the quad, that's number two, and you may feel a little inner thigh of the forward leg. All right, one more time. Remember, stay tall through your spine, and then back out. So movement sequence like that, a few times a week, we're gonna remodel that fascial system in a much better way.